Iowa State takes the field Saturday night wearing the much-anticipated black uniforms and ready for a big opportunity game against number six West Virginia. The Cyclone defense put up some incredible stats in last week's win and they're back at it again in this one. And he's sacked at Iowa State's 49-yard line. It was Spencer Benton that got him. Greer under some duress, scrambling. He's in oh. trouble. He was weak, he was being held. And now Iceworth will sack Greer back at the 30-yard line. But this game does not start so well for the freshman Brock Purdy. His first pass was almost picked off. His second one is, and West Virginia is in business. Four plays later, Will Greer goes 18 yards to David Sills, and it's 7-0 Mountaineers. But just when it looks like the Cyclones could be in trouble, Brock Purdy comes to life. Purdy hands it, no, fakes the handoff to Montgomery and runs it. Left side, avoided a man at the 40, 45, 50, and Brock Purdy has run out of bounds at midfield. Purdy takes the snap, gives it, no, uh, gives it to Montgomery. Big hole right side, 35, 30, 25, 20. Montgomery inside the 10, and all the way to the five yard line, they're gonna mark it at the three. David Montgomery, the running back, offset to his left. Purdy, play action, wants to throw it to the end zone, touchdown, Hakeem the dream, wide open. On its next possession, Iowa State goes in search of the lead. Left side, kind of weaving his way, a stiff arm to the 20 yard line is David Montgomery. And Purdy out of the shotgun. Quick fake handoff, a throw, caught by Kohler. He's inside the five to the three yard line. Purdy gives it to Montgomery, touchdown. David Montgomery right up the middle. A missed extra point keeps the Cyclone lead at 13-7, but the Iowa State offense will add more on its next possession. Big handoff, Purdy throws, a slant, caught, first down and more for Akeem Butler. West Virginia showing blitz, here they come. Purdy steps up and fires, caught, it's Kohler inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown! And the big plays continue to go Iowa State's way on both sides of the ball. Greer in trouble, scrambling to his left, in lots of trouble. Greer will be sacked at the two yard line by Jaquan Bailey, the sack master. Purdy takes the snap, here comes a rush, he fires deep down the right side for Akeem, and he made the catch! It'll be a Cyclone first down in West Virginia territory! But with the Cyclones up 20-7 to and looking for more, momentum swings, big time. Connor Rosali's field goal late in the half is blocked, and worse yet, it's scooped and it's scored. It is a stunning turn of events, and suddenly West Virginia trails only 2014 at the half. The third quarter is simply a slugfest. No points scored by either team, but major props to the Cyclone defense. Greer takes the snap, looks to his right, then hands off on a delay to Petaway. He's wrapped up for a loss, back to the 10-yard line. So as we go to the fourth, it's still anybody's ball game, but the Cyclones are about to own it. Purdy out of the shotgun, West Virginia showing blitz, here they come. Purdy steps up and fires to the right side, and it is caught by Akeem Butler at the 45-yard line. And Purdy gives it to Montgomery off the left side, got a great block across midfield, 45, 40, down the sideline, and run out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Purdy out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff to Nwangu, steps up, fires to the left side, and a leaping catch, and a cycle touchdown to Shante Jones! Rock Purdy stepped up and put it right on the money. And Deshante Jones made a juggling catch in the end zone. But if it stands, the Cyclones add to their lead. That two touchdown lead makes Iowa State fans feel much better. And so does that Cyclone defense. Greer, fake handoff, here comes a rush. He rolls to his right, now he's under some duress from Spears. And Spears sacks him! Marcel Spears! Back at the 21 yard line, the sixth sack of the day for Iowa State. Two receivers to each side of the formation, here comes a blitz. Greer in trouble now, and he'll be sacked for the seventh time today. And that was Mike Rose, the freshman. Greer in the end zone, under duress, spins out of it, keeps the play alive. Now with a flag in the end zone, Greer will throw it away, he was sacked, but that flag is gonna be a safety. What an amazing performance for the Iowa State D. For the second straight game, seven sacks, tying a school record and West Virginia totals only 152 yards for the night, a mere 40 yards the entire second half. Iowa State dumps number six West Virginia, 30 to 14 the final. Let the celebration begin.
Brock Purdy takes a knee to end it. And the Cyclones, back in black, but it's shaping up as another Cardinal October here in Ames. A 4-0 record last October, two wins over ranked teams. Two wins over ranked teams already this October as the Cyclones knock off number six, West Virginia, in dominating fashion. 30 to 14 the final. I'm Rod Bodholt reporting for The Matt Campbell Show.